One, two, three, and... I've come home practically all is nearly forgiven Right thoughts, right words, right action And almost everything be forgotten oh, Right thoughts, right words, right action But how can we leave you to a Saturday night on a Sunday morning Good morning Thanks a lot. Franz Ferdinand and the Big Herd Newport Music Hall tonight. Still a few tickets left. For right thoughts, right words, right action. I'm so glad that I get a chance to talk to you about that song, which was, as I understand, inspired lyrically by a trip to the flea market. Yeah, that's right. I, I was at a flea market and found a postcard. And uh, the message on the postcard was this short cryptic phrase, which was, come home, practically all is nearly forgiven. And I loved the phrase, and uh, it made me think, if I got that postcard, at first you'd think, oh, yeah, I'm going home. And then you'd think, oh, or am I? Uh, am I really with that welcome after all? But it seemed like a good lyric, you know, a good idea for a song. Well, it strikes me as heavily passive-aggressive. Y yes, yeah, 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 it definitely does. It definitely See, I wouldn't go. And, uh, yeah, yeah, me neither. Practically all, nearly forgiven. I mean, what yeah, what do you I, think I, I, was I not forgiven? It. Well, that's the thing. But that's why it's a good lyric as well, because I, I think a, a good lyric should be, within a few words, should trigger many situations and allow your imagination to fill in all the gaps. So with a lyric like that, you're imagining who the characters are, you imagine what's happened between them, why they're in this situation, who is it that's sending the postcard, why does the postcard have to be sent? You know, it's, it's evocative, it's cool. Was the postcard sent? Was it? Did it have a stamp on it and cancelled and all that? It, it did. It was. It was sent in 1981, I believe. And it was. What was more interesting was uh, I went back to Nick's flat and we did a bit of research on it. We looked at the name of the person it was sent to because it seemed familiar. It was sent to a guy called Carol Rice. And I was saying, Nick, you know, I know that name. I know that name. And he's a director, and he directed well one of my favorite films, which is Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, and also The French Lieutenant's Woman. And uh, so what's even more crazy is the person that sent it could well have been uh, a famous actor or some character from the film world. 
Wow. Have you? Is he still around? Could you t- actually talk to him about this? You think? No. We went to the house. Didn't we, yeah, that's right. We went uh, around uh, because uh, <laughs> because the, the middle eight of the song uh, where, where we sing uh, uh, eleven Chalcot Gardens, England's Lane, Hampstead, London. That's actually the address the postcard was sent to. Oh. And we went round to to visit it one day, and uh, well, we met the current owners who who'd been living there for ten years or so. And they knew all about the history of the people who'd lived there before. Like, Meryl Streep lived there for a while, yeah. and oh, Carol wow. Rice as well. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but, uh, but and unfortunately, Carol Rice died about 10 years ago, so, oh. so the, the sender of the postcard remains anonymous because there's only, uh, there's only one initial on the postcard. It's a D, and um, mm-hmm. yeah, I have no idea who it could be. But isn't that great? Just like one little trip to a, to a flea market, and suddenly you've uh, unraveled this, this great tale. He died? That <laughs> maybe it's yes. last. Well, I gotta tell you, before we before we leave talking about this song, my daughters and I love listening to it in the car, and we've been obsessed with the line. Sometimes wish you were here, weather permitting. Right. Okay. Where does that line come from? Because it, it seems like well. I would like to get together with you, but if the weather is unsafe, I, I don't want you in any danger. Yeah, well, for the rest of the verses, we try to write the rest of the verses in the same manner of that first verse. So they're, uh, they're kind of qualified, like practically all, nearly forgiven. Um, ah. uh, so this time, same as before, love you forever. It doesn't quite add up, you know, like uh, how, how can you love someone forever for the first time and the second time? You, you either love them forever or not. And for that verse, we were trying to write in the, in the way that people write postcards, particularly British people write postcards, where they always talk about the stupid weather. <laughs> it's, it's the only topic of conversation for British people generally. Like all conversations start with like, how's the weather today? Yeah, it's changeable, isn't it? Yeah, it it's, like it's, a, it's a bit rain. changeable today, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so uh, it, it's the same thing, like sort of weather permitting. And yeah, and it, it, that's why it was such a striking postcard in the first place, because it was a British postcard that didn't mention the weather. <laughs> And so we thought we had to get it into the song. <laughs> well, how appropriate we have this discussion on a gray day. Well, yeah. Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> yes. Franz Ferdinand are here playing the Newport tonight. How about another song? We'll chat a little bit more. Okay, All nice. All right, cool. What should we play now? I should play uh, Bullet. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, Paul, do you want to count us in? Yes. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Francis Ferdinand in the big room. Thank you. Needs a call tonight. Right thoughts, right words, right action. Out now. And it's a great record, and we're so glad to have it in our hands. Um, I'm not going to talk to you a whole lot about the whole, well, I was burned out and I didn't want to be in a band anymore, because I think <laughs> everybody has felt that. I don't understand yeah. what the big deal is. I know it's true. I, th I think everybody feels a bit like that when we're on the show sometimes. And uh, it's, it's just like anything. You, you get exhausted after a lot of traveling. And yeah, it's good to be in a band. So the process where you made this record and you produced it largely yourselves with some help from from friends i'm interested i read about the process where it was every song had a trail that you had to follow a path before the song was finished right i mean the, we, we work on it in a certain order rather than sitting around jamming oh, out ideas sure yeah 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 like, like we um we, we, we wanted to sort of approach it almost like we were working from a songbook. You know, when you're a kid and you're learning how to play guitar and you, you maybe have like a, a book of songs by the Kinks or the Beatles or the Smiths or whatever, and you know what, the, the song has a form before you begin to perform it. So we wanted to write the songs completely before we went into the studio, so there wasn't any of that long jam session or anything like that. And so it, it was good, and it, it meant that we, we could, and it also meant that we were playing them live as well. So we played them live around about the same time that we were recording them. And uh, yeah, songs first, then recording. That was the attitude. Now, have you been in the past a band that tends to sit around jamming out ideas? Um, only on the last record, only on tonight. We did that quite a bit. And you know, having a jam is quite good fun sometimes. But my theory about jamming is it's, it's good fun for the people that are doing it, uh, not for anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so there'll be no jazz odyssey tonight to uh, borrow from Spinal Tap? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, could, no drum <laughs> solo? Yeah. But there will be a drum solo. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> well, it's not a solo. There, there might be four people playing the drums. Oh, I'm giving away all the surprises. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's plenty more. Franz Ferdinand playing the Newport Music call CD1025 show tonight. How about another song, guys? Thanks so much yeah. for coming in. Okay, yeah, it's a pleasure. Man. Um, should we play Love Illumination? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Somebody love you, are you looking for somebody? You're looking for somebody. 
Newport Music Hall tonight. Still a few tickets left. Right thoughts, right words, right action. Great album out now on Domino. Thank you guys so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having us, man. Thanks for being a great studio audience. We return things now to Control Central.